Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 10. In this tutorial we'll be discussing some more edit buttons, but we're going to be modeling a wine glass from a different structure than the cube. So select the cube and hit the delete key, or even you can hit X key, which will both delete. So, okay, once the cube is gone, you'll notice your cursor is here. Your cursor is this uh, white and red dotted line. Okay, that can be, if you click, if you left click in areas, it'll go over there and wherever this cursor is is where your object will be added and uh, also remember that wherever you add an object spacebar and uh, add mesh uh, will add a, a plane whatever area whichever direction you're facing is the direction that this is added so if you don't want to be mess if you don't want to uh, have to correct this just always add in from top view front view side view okay or you can go around by hitting at, uh, 6 and 4 and 8 and 2 to go up and down. The air, it's like the arrows are right below the numbers. It's pretty uh, straightforward. So top view and object mode after deleting that and add mesh and add a circle. Okay, so we added a circle with 32 vertices. I'm going to scale this up with the S key. I'm just going to bring it down. Now there's no faces except for connected lines so for this we're gonna hit the E key only edges and bring it in and we're also gonna S for scale in and just kinda give this oh, see I didn't cancel out so now I've got a this ring going off base so use the undo make sure that you don't have uh, double extruded in one area and just scale this in kind of create the base and all the way up to the um, top of the wine glass where the stem goes into the bowl or cup area and just keep going with it uh, kind of experiment around see how this works for you okay so if we tab into object mode we see that the mesh is just it's not closed it's not it has no thickness it's just a really thin thin mesh all the way around okay uh, to fix this we need to go back to tab mode and hit uh, number pad one and hit the Z key this will bring us into wireframe mode or you can do it right here solid is default and go to wireframe okay hit the E key extrude in just scale these verts in a little bit and bring them down extrude scale and bring them down now what I'm doing is I'm keeping the vertices inside of the cup and I can tell by the way it looks uh, go back to solid or hit the Z key and see now this cup has some thickness which you really need for uh, doing doing modeling you have to have some sort of thickness to your mesh one key or uh, noon pad one and tab in edit mode okay so we don't want to scale this in and just kind of close it because if it's inverted which is negative see how crossovers crossover we don't want that because that can lead us into problems and we just don't want to close it up just as close as we can what we do is we hit s control and scale in okay and and it'll bring over here when you're scaling uh You'll notice there's a right here. I know I can't do it now because I'm already I've already scaled it to zero. If you use control, it'll go by uh, decimals by ones, and you can control into zero. Everything should say zero. Once you've controlled in zero, you join all these vertices. Okay, you join all these vertices from an extrusion down here. So you can close the top of this. Uh, it's a lot to say at one time, but hopefully you're understanding this. All right, and just come down here and scroll down, shift and middle mouse drag, and Z for wireframe, extrude, S, control, and bring it all to zero. Okay, but uh, these vertices, there is all, there's 32 vertices joined together. We just want to make this one vertice. So what we do to make sure all the 
the, the doubles are gone you hit A until you select all and you hit W and remove doubles okay so that removed 32 vertices that we extruded in here and just turned it into one 32 vertices from here that we extruded it and just joined it into one okay uh, it saves your vertices you don't have to worry about trouble uh, with enclosing your mesh so anyways it's completely enclosed now and we're gonna set this an object mode set to smooth we're gonna add a modifier of a subsurf okay we're gonna set this level 2 and now I can look at our object and just kinda go around uh, we don't want this see how it's like bumpy to get rid of this we would do the knife cut again uh, see how you can't use uh, control and or all and select all these as a loop you have to hit the B for box okay so and if you hit B for box and you use uh, here let me start over B for box and you left mouse click and drag okay and uh, if you do B twice you can left mouse click and just circle around uh, another thing is if you have these all selected and you hit B for box and you do middle mouse and hold it down as if you're gonna circle around it it'll do this it'll create the same thing but it unselects with that okay anyway select these do knife cut with midpoints with the K key and just make a nice circle around it and hit enter okay now it's gone see and now you can add another one and scale it up and make this edge sharper do this for inside of the cup because it's also here so make sure everything's unselected okay K for midpoints make a nice circle enter and there they are okay just add another one you can add some verts in to make the edges sharper. Ah. Kind of define it a little better. I already did one there. You can have one here on the outside and bring the edges sharper. So now we have a very crisp looking cup. You can scale it down with the S key. And there you have it modeling with subsurface and uh, knife cut modeling pretty cool stuff uh, try to learn as best as you can and keep up with the tutorials thanks for watching